I want to take just a minute of your time to give you some information about shooting with a tethered workflow. Personally, I use it every day, whether I'm in studio or on location. I know quite a few photographers that are nervous about shooting tethered. It feels a little overwhelming. Shooting tethered with Capture One is fast, it's efficient, and it's pretty simple. So I'm going to show you some tips to get you started. Tethered shooting is all about the proper connection. So after connecting to my computer, I simply plug into my camera. Now you'll notice that I'm keeping this, the cord secure. I'm using a Tether Tools clamp in order to make sure that this cable cannot get yanked out. I want to ensure that my cable is nice and smooth on the floor, that I don't create a tripping hazard for myself or my crew. Then I can go ahead and turn my camera on and I'm ready to shoot tethered. Once I've made the tether connection to my computer and my camera, I'm going to go ahead and launch Capture One, which does a great job of organizing all the files for me. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go up and I'm going to select New Session. Now, a session is just a really simple way for you to organize all the images from a job or a project. I think of it as just a simple folder that has all the images that I need for a specific job. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a session for GOA Skincare and I'm going to show you where it lives in the Finder. I'm going to go ahead and title this according to the product. And I'm going to select where I want it to go. And in this case, I'm actually going to shoot to an external drive. And I'm going to hit choose. And OK, and we're ready to go. Now, you can see right here in this very first section, the camera window has come up and it's giving me all the information about my camera. This I absolutely love because I can sit at my computer, change my f-stop, change my shutter speed, and quickly make adjustments to the images coming in. With Capture One launched and set up, we can go ahead and get rolling on making some images. So with Capture One, the image I just shot comes up in the main window, and all the subsequent images will come on the side. So you can see how quickly I can make adjustments here. I'm just going to drop down to F20. If I grab the loop tool and I go up to it, I can take a detailed look at the focus. So I can know right away if I'm tack sharp or if I need to make an adjustment. I can also go up to my crop tool and I can quickly crop my image a little bit in order to get rid of some of the excess background. Simply click on the hand tool and there's my crop. So one of the things that's really nice, I can make quick adjustments and sometimes with product, I wanna actually do a little bracket in order to make sure that I've got all the detail. And I can quickly do that, and you can see the selections coming up here on the right. I really like the way this is simplified so that I can have all my tools on the left, the main image I'm currently working on right in the center with all the subsequent images that I'm shooting on the right. Now that I've captured all the components that I need, I can quickly go ahead and make my selections. Simple as just starting the images that I like. Now that I've made my selections, I'm going to go up to View, Sort, I'm going to go by Rating. They're going to all jump to the top. I'm going to select them. I can simply grab my selections, drag and drop them right into the Select folder, and I'm ready to go. So now that I've moved my selections into my Select folder, I am really ready to move on into post-production. That's how quick and easy it is to get up and rolling and shooting tethered using the Capture One workflow.